energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hi everybody welcome back i'm so glad to have you guys here today now i was supposed to get a shipment but because of this huge snowstorm we had for a few days it's behind i'm getting it tomorrow um which will be monday so you'll probably be seeing this wednesday so it's all gonna be a little confusing but I decided what I want to do is do a sit down video and basically a chat spat video and if you are new here because I know that I do have a lot of new subscribers new people to my channel that are from the shop miss a videos and you know the Amazon videos all sorts of things so a lot of you may not really know a lot about me um I used to do a series on my channel called chat spat and it brought I did it before drama channels were drama channels and then drama channels happened and it mirrored too much of what it was too close to what I was doing on chat spat and it brought a negative audience and it was horrible for me a lot of you that have been here through it remember how bad it was some of you were also targets and so I stopped doing that took a huge break off of YouTube stopped doing it um, tried to bring it back, but it just, I want to take it in a different direction. I don't want it to be so much about direct people on social media, YouTube, YouTubers, you know, other beauty creators. I mean, at this point, after all the drama between Jeffree Star and Manny MUA and Laura Lee and Tati and just everybody's drama up there they exploded and it's just been in my opinion kind of quiet I did what I had to do to make sure that I didn't see all that that I don't see any of that kind of stuff anymore I'm kind of fed up of it all I'm over the drama and I'm over the cancel culture and I'm I'm over a lot of things and I want to vent to you guys and I hope that that's okay and if I say anything that offends, feel free. I mean, this is why I make these videos. It's because I, I want the back and forth. I want to have a conversation. I want to get to know you guys. So if you have opinions or if you have comments on anything that I say, write them down below. Just don't be mean to each other, please. Because that is where I start blocking and deleting comments and stuff. I don't want you guys to be nasty to each other. Go ahead. You can be, you can be mad at me. Okay, I have a hard shell after almost 10 years on YouTube, but don't be mean to each other. Don't ruin each other's experience here. But for the people that are on the newer side, on the newer side, um, this may be a little repetitive for you guys who, who have been here for a while, but I'm a mom of three children. I have a daughter who is 15 years old. Her name is Emily, and she has a lot of mental health issues like I do. And then I have my son Kingston who just recently turned nine and he is an angel. I don't know how I got so like this kid is he wouldn't hurt a fly. And then I have my son Keegan who is four and he is autistic and nonverbal. So I am a stay at home mom and I stay home with them and I raise them and I am Cinderella as I tell you guys on Instagram all the time I'm Cinderella uh cleaning clean 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 well that cat glares at me all day that's my life I live in a trailer in a pretty wealthy area of upstate New York um but I live in the poor side of that rich rich town <laughs> if that makes any sense um like there's the park I live in which trailer parks even in this place are pretty hoity-toity if I must say so myself but not my trailer <laughs> but this park and then maybe 800 feet down the road there's a mansion and there's a celebrity that lives there there's like men who guard it huge gates I'm it's we got a bunch of celebrities around the lake that I live near. So we see that often. Um, but we are dead broke. We are poor. We live paycheck by paycheck. Me and my husband are both entrepreneurs. He owns his own business, contracting business. He is amazing. He actually went to school for all of that. And I do here what I do. And then I opened my store, Nikki's Anxiety Bubble, where I sell my finished diamond art beading. 
and other than that, I do little odds and ends to just try to compensate a little bit, a little bit, you know, add a little bit of cushion, help when I can, um, money wise. But other than that, that is the dirty down truth of who I am. I have OCD, I have anxiety, um, and it's not anxiety like every now and then I get panic attacks, um, I'm anxious out around people. This is, um, <laughs> It's, it's almost embarrassing to say, to be honest, to sit here and just speak it. But I panic thinking about stepping out of my door. I don't like it. And it causes me anxiety that hurts. It feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. I have panic attacks daily. I mean, sometimes I think I'm going blind because the walls are just closing in so much, so often throughout the day. Um, I have bipolar type 1, and that's a struggle, and it was all brought on by trauma in my life that happened um, throughout the years, and uh, I have borderline personality disorder, I have trichotillomania, dermatillomania, I mean, I'm like going down the line of this, and there, I, I have it all, I guess, I have it all. And the worst part about it is none of what I have keeps me from knowing that I have all of that. You know? You know how they say you're not crazy because crazy people don't know they're crazy? I think you, a lot of you on here will agree with me that there are a lot of us who fall through the crack of we know we're crazy and we can't help it. We can't stop it. We yell at ourselves. You know what I mean? We dislike ourselves for it. But it cannot be stopped. So that is who I am. I did not graduate college. I did go to college for nursing. Um, I quit school to take care of my dad who had cancer. He had lung cancer. Um, I took care of him. He was, it was me and him. There was a lot, of going, a lot of stuff going on around that time. A lot of that I don't remember. Um, but he ended up passing away when I was 17 and I basically have been on my own since. So I met my husband at a random bar one night <laughs> and I don't even drink. I went, I went with my sister and fell in love with him and we have been amazing ever since. And even though we are paycheck to paycheck and we can't afford a lot of stuff, we can't even pay our bills half the time. We love our family. Our family unit is strong, and even though all of us got all that going on, there is a whole lot of love in this family. So that's us. If you already knew me, you're probably like, damn, Nikki, we're going to get deep quick here. That's one thing. If you're new, I have no filter, no lines that can be crossed in my world. Um, and I talk about everything, and I say weird shit. <laughs> But I feel like right now, with the pandemic going on for as long as it is, um, I don't care about the whole vaccination, unvaccination. What? I don't care about any of that. I don't give a rat's ass. I think that the government and social media is playing us, to be honest. But that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, it's the pandemic itself and what it's doing to the economy, what it's doing to the schools, the parents, to the children. The children these days, our generation of kids have already gone and found electronics over sports and going outside and physical activities. And we've been fighting against that. And I know many of you who are parents know what I mean. And now with the pandemic and it being winter or whatever and you can't do anything social, our kids are growing up alone. Are growing up alone. Like they, my kids don't go to other people's houses their kids don't come here. They are getting no social interaction. My son, Keegan, has had no social interaction besides his two siblings, and they're much older than him. And I never leave my house, and my house is a cardboard box. It's a little, tiny, old trailer. So, <laughs> we need to vent. I know, I know that there's people out there right now you watching me that that are worse off than I am I could probably name a couple of you that have been with me for a while and you check in and you let me know how you're doing because you are always doing 
worse than me. And I worry about you guys. And you know who you are. And so I think about that. And I think nobody wants to talk about it because you don't want to go there in your mind. You're sick of feeling it daily. But we're allowed to vent about this. This is an unfair new thing that is happening to the world. And no, there, there is no manual here. People are too busy. The people who are supposed to help us are too busy fighting to help us. Um, so us as parents, us as women, us as people need to band together and help each other and be more compassionate and understanding to people going crazy and wanting to talk some shit and vent because they're fucking going nuts in their house. Anyone else? Just me? <laughs> my, my ex, my daughter's father, because my daughter has a different father than my sons do. Um, he just recently moved up last week up to two trailers down and my daughter is 15 years old so she's legally allowed to choose who she wants to live with and she wants to live with her dad and it's because my husband went in there and built a room um, for her in in the trailer like we did here for Keegan and it is a massive bedroom I'm jealous so I know why she wants to she hasn't lived with her dad since me and her dad were together and she was less than a year old she you know and he's a good dad so I'm going through the process of she's only going to be two trailers away from me she's going to be okay I can go see her I can find her but I still feel so heartbroken about it and I don't feel like I have anyone I can talk to about it because I don't really have a lot of people I can talk to. The people I can talk to are my husband or my ex, literally. And I know that a lot of you are going to be like, you can talk to me, but it's... When, when it's things that are so personal, you have to have someone to vent to that just knows enough. You know what I mean? That knows you enough. And so sometimes is it just, it won't be helpful for anybody to try to reach out to the wrong person at that time for the wrong situation, if that makes sense. But I feel like I'm losing a limb and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I feel that way. And I, it scares me. So if any of you guys have gone through something like this, because it's not like my ex is my best friend and he is a good dad. And so I, I'm happy for him and I'm sad for me. Has anybody else gone through this? I know that it's rare that, um, exes are like become best friends. We are really like, we are best friends. Um, he's almost like my brother to me now, to be honest. And that's very rare, and I realize that. But if there are any other unicorns out there, <laughs> did you feel this way? Did this stuff happen? You know, I just... <sighs> this is why I like I started my chat spats, was because I wanted to be able to just vent and find people who related, because I needed that. I needed that to hold on to, to know that I wasn't alone that it wasn't just me, that it was something that was either normal, normal bullshit that none of us want to deal with, you know, and <laughs> it gave me strength. You guys give me strength. And that's why I've always, you know, stuck around and did my chat spats. So I want to bring them back, but I want it to be more of like a venting session for us all. I don't want it to ever be something where there's an argument, you know, I don't like the negativity and I want to stay away from that as much as possible. But I want to know how you guys are doing through this pandemic. Personally, each and every single one of you. I don't care if you're a parent. I don't care. I want to know what each and every single one of you, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. I want to know, has things gotten better for you? Has it gotten worse? You know, like, people are losing families to deaths, to judgment, to so much. People are losing jobs. Vent. Vent to me. Let's talk. Let's talk about it because we deserve the right to talk about it. It's happening to us all. It's not just a group of people this is happening to. This is happening to the world. So nobody is left out of this. And that's why I wanted to tell you a little bit about me and about my situation. So, you know, 
your turn now. <laughs> all right, so that's all I wanted to talk about. I just want to check in. I want to know how, how each and every single one of you are doing. If you if you want to speak about it down below. If you don't, you can always message me or email me. My information is everywhere. Um, and I will write back to you. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about bringing chat spats back just for some girly venting. Um, nothing vicious, you know. I don't. I don't want to go anywhere near that kind of stuff. That I get, We all have enough drama in our own lives right now. We don't need that shit online anymore. Thank you so much for watching, and I of course will see you guys again on Friday. <laughs> bye bye.